pretty well guard against the world because of it. Doesn't let much get to him, and he's pretty good at coming up with solutions. We're out walking around, and he got a call from his girlfriend. So then she went and left him there and there. What else is to be expected, of course? Of course she would leave. There is no romance. We have learned that it's all built on lies and today we are smarter and we know nothing ever lasts. So of course she would leave because we all would like to leave. We all would like to run away. Didn't leave a reason why. We're guessing she got with that guy called Jack. I think Rich still has kind of for a while. Didn't seem to bother him though. He seemed pretty positive. Unlike most guys, stopped. I said. Oh, oh well, well, she's, she's probably, probably better, better off without, without me anyway. anyway. Tell you what though, later on that day he said, How did I get a girlfriend in the first place anyway? Amazing. I've sense to his upbringing, I guess. He had a pretty rough as a kid. He wasn't prepared for the outside world. His dad used to rough him up all the time, which made you think it would really just fuck him up inside. When Rich was four or five, he was in this very kitchen. His dad came in, went to hit him, but little Rich saw this big old knife. Just stabbed him straight in the hand. <sighs> Even then he was finding practical solutions to his problems. After that, his dad just left for good. He didn't have to worry anymore. No one's seen him since. It's good Rich is so grounded. I think any other normal guy in his position would have gone crazy by now. A lot of people give him a hard time because of his thinking. He comes across as moody or antisocial. I'll tell you what, just yesterday his mum got hit by a drunk driver. Rich. Only had that. That was his only family he had left, and she was gone. Any other guy would have gone skits. But Rich found himself a way to get through it. I'm here. He needs my help. It's not often rich house of things, but even he has his limits. I always thought that at the last moment on this earth that the light would flash at the point of time. However, this wasn't the case. My girlfriend used to say before she left that we could live our lives with no regrets. But as I died, all I could think were the things I could have done differently. Everything I could have changed. It's funny. I lived my life with the blind conviction that I simply didn't care. But all I could think of now was how much I wanted to live. Now that I was stepping away from death and unable to stop James. I wanted to live, try again, to put a stop to my suffering by taking responsibility for myself instead of blaming everything on fate. I guess if I really didn't care, 
then I wouldn't want to have died in the first place. If I really wanted to die, I could have done it myself, without the need for James's help. But guess whilst I was alive, that by pretending I didn't care, gave me the strength to carry on. But it got to the point where I couldn't see the reason for carrying on with it anymore. Constant disappointment, constant pain, never feeling wanted or needed. That's all my life was. I guess that's all life is for most people. What I don't see is how everybody manages to carry on with it, pretending to be happy. Is it just ignorance? Or do they simply see something that I never saw? I guess I'll never know. He's gone. That show is over. It's gone forever. Um, it's just white noise. Have you, have you ever just sat and watched the white noise? And I do, and I see after a while the shapes appear. You start to see patterns and and life and things. I mean, you start to see things in the total nothingness is all the white noise and I heard that within it you actually see or pick up the frequencies and the leftovers of the Big Bang that within nothingness there is a part of the beginning of everything, of time and life as we know it. Maybe that's why it's so fascinating and nothingness. It's fascinating.